Welcome back to the Bitter Betty podcast. I'm Bitter Betty Deadhead here with my two cohorts. Bitter Betty Tova. And Bitter Betty Carol with an E. We are here with LFR family. Um, he Hi, Ben. Is... Hi, Hi, Ben. Dan. So uh, he's, he's a great guy. I talked to him before. But uh, he's uh, he had this video that caught my attention. <laughs> Uh, tides are turning for Trump, so I figured we'd, um, you know, give it a shot since we were already doing some hip hop stuff today, and we've and I seen on the cover of this video <clears throat> he had um, Snoop Dogg and Lil Wayne and somebody else. Who was it? Ice Cube. Uh, Ice Cube. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it caught my attention, so I thought we would go ahead and see what he has to say. Ladies so do you think it's actually going to have to do with these rappers or do you think it's a clickbait title? Is it a clickbait thumbnail? I don't know. He's not very, he doesn't really do clickbait. So I don't, I think it's going to have something to do with this. Okay. We I'll think be curious to see. Yeah. So, I'll be curious to see. I'm curious. <laughs> like, that, yeah. Because I do know that Ice Cube does stand a certain way and has kind of stand like stood yeah. out against yeah well but ice cube has really been he's been willing to work with trump like he's willing to work with whoever will work with him to make it better and man i respect the fuck out of him for that uh now uh what was it who was snoop little wayne i feel like little wayne probably fucks with trump like honestly just by the stuff he said in like previous interviews that's what i'm going with now snoop i'm pretty sure he's been pretty Left leaning, <laughs> lean back. So yeah, lean that's the one I'm the, the most left. interested um, in on this. Yeah, so I'm like that. Re- that one really intrigues me because the <laughs> other two I get, but the but the Snoop Dogg now that that throws me off a bit. All yeah, right, so well. I'm kind of curious. All right, Ben, what you got? Let's go. I just wanted to say I grew up a Democrat. And I've always been a Democrat until I met this man right here. And I'll tell you what. He will not have to worry about nobody in my family ever vote for a Democrat again. <laughs> and that was New York Damn. Giants legendary and pro football Hall of Famer Lawrence Taylor endorsing President Trump during his massive New Jersey rally over the weekend. Former Giants running back Otis Anderson also throwing his support to the former president. Trump hoping to gain ground with black voters. Rapper Lil Wayne praising Trump's work on criminal reform. While rapper Snoop Dogg said earlier this year he has, quote, nothing but love and respect for Trump. Rapper 50 Cent also suggesting Trump is maybe the answer after seeing New York City give prepaid credit cards to illegal migrants. Biddy said that? I don't see why this is a huge story. It's 50. That a lot of people are coming off of Trump what? because before he decided to run as a Republican president, don't know if y'all remember this. I'm sure a lot of y'all remember this. But before he decided to run as a Republican candidate, all these guys was his friends already. Mm-hmm. All these guys was his friends, a boatload of people inside of, in Hollywood, New York, you name it, all of the big wigs. They worked with them. They wanted to work with them. They wanted to do business with them. They were cool with them. They had him on their call log. He was invited to their parties. They were invited to his parties. They were invited to stay in the Trump hotels for free whenever they showed up to where everyone was. So this ain't big news already, but because of the lay of the land and because of social credit score and making people feel bad for having making a decision, having a choice of their own, thinking for themselves, people haven't been coming out. But now a lot of people are like, man, forget that, bro. I support the one that's best for this country. Joining me now with some big news of his own is the founder of Big Three, award-winning rapper and actor Ice Cube. Also joining us is Big Three president and co-founder Jeff Quantinets. Great to see you, gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate it. Jeff Quantin, it's always a pleasure and an honor to see you. Cube, I want to kick things off with this historic big three news. But first, what did you make of this support for Trump over the weekend? And do you feel a shift going on in the African-American community? Celebrities and rappers turning their attention to Donald Trump. (laughs) I don't know. You know, I've been so uh, engulfed in the big three and so... um... You know, I just got off tour in Canada, so I'm a little out the loop. Um, 
you know, I, people going to make a decision on who they want to be president. You know, I think it's a personal decision. I don't know if they care if any rappers or entertainers get up there and say anything. It's really a personal decision. People know who Trump is. People know who Biden is. They're going to make their decision no matter who gets up there and um, and pushes whatever agenda they on. So it's really, um, you know, the country knows both of these guys very well. So I just think it's going to just come down to a personal decision. Now, based off what he just now said, I agree 1,000%. He says that people already know who they're going to vote for. Mm -hmm. It does not matter what <laughs> rappers you bring to the White House, Biden. Biden, it don't matter if you fill up the White House with black rappers, bro. It, it, mm -hmm. it doesn't work. That pander, it don't work. And that's exactly what they're trying to do. We have been teaching people how to grow online. It's been absolutely amazing. We have three people who have been able to reach monetization in less than 30 days. Growing YouTube channels, some from zero people. We have one guy who had two subscribers before he started working with me. He started helping him. His views went up 4.8 million percent. We're super excited. If anybody ever... I just wanted to put this out there. Um... I actually reached out to him for this, what he's talking about right now. And he told me that we were doing everything right. I mean, we're, of course, we've already been monetized, but, you know, he told us that we were doing everything right and to keep doing what we've been doing. So that's what we've been doing. But um, if y'all are a new channel, reach out to him. He'll help you. I'm serious. Yes. Well, and I love, I love that too, because that shows just how genuinely honest he is because he mm -hmm. could have just said, Oh yeah, I can help you take our money and then realize like that we're doing everything right anyway. Like we didn't really yeah. need the help, but he's gonna take advantage of the situation. And he didn't do that. No. And I love that. I love seeing the proof of that behind the scenes. You know right. what I mean? Because it's it's very easy. Like with a lot of the recent stuff that's been going on, there's a lot of reactors who, you know, I don't really mess with anymore because True Colors came out. Mm -hmm. You know, I saw the the shift <laughs> because of where the the content was and stuff, and so. Uh, it's it's nice to know that there's real people out there still. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and I've always is. loved Van. I me too. I do too. I've been following him for a, for years. Well, yeah, for a couple. I think I almost I would think I was following him before I even found Tom. Actually. Oh, I definitely was. So yeah. Yeah. I found I know. My husband introduced me to him too. He introduces yeah. me yeah. to everybody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, but we I started watching him, I think, because of some of his Trump stuff. And then when I seen that he reacted to Tom, I was like, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyways, let's get back to this. <laughs> Ever want to grow on YouTube? You reach out to me with the word coach. But like Ice Cube is saying right now, he's saying, man, people know, know who they want to vote for. They already know. They're hearing. And, and the best thing is within the community, within your own tight-knit community and within your family. You're starting to have um, conversations with people that's like, man, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know about Biden no more, bro. I mean, I voted for him, but you know what I mean? And I voted Same. for Biden. I don't know if y'all know <laughs> that too. or not, but I voted for him. I was always blue no matter who. Grew up in Me Southeast too. In 2020? Everybody that I know, family, friends, or other, oh, always Carol. voted Democrat. No matter what, I don't care. No matter what. But then started paying attention bro just like a lot of these youtubers are right now shout out to all of you content creators that are diving into politics and getting more knowledge of the other side that you um ignored on purpose you purposefully you purposely ignored for a long time now we're just starting to pay attention that makes me kind of want to go in do some research on the democratic party since we most me and tova both are more republican you know, I would yeah. like to go well, down I'm, that Well, I'm independent. I just have cons more conservative well, beliefs. I'm, that's me. But here lately, I'm more red. Like, you know, Tom says it too. Like, he's, I've always been down the middle. But here lately, yeah. I've been more red. Well, it's just like you said. I, you know, I took the red pills because that's who's fighting for my freedoms. Uh, exactly. Like, I don't really trust. I don't. I, I just trust the Republicans slightly more than the Democrats at this point. Right. You know what I mean? But I don't really trust the politicians in general. I don't think they're out for any of us really more so for themselves but um but yeah but you know but i, I was still yeah like to go down 
and maybe get a different opinion without all the screaming and the hollering, you know, but to actually go down and deep. I think, and- I think a good way to do that. There's a channel called Jubilee and they do tons of debates. They do it with, uh, they've had cops and felons. They've had D trans versus transgenders, conservative trans versus liberal trans, uh, uh, conservative LGBTQ uh, or, you know, gay men, women, whatever against conservative. Like, so you get both sides of it, but in a more Blair controlled White was environment. On that, yes. Yeah. She was on a, I think it was conservative trans versus liberal trans or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. It's super, super freaking interesting though. Like to see both sides of it. Um, and I, yeah, I don't ever really, don't ever really agree with anybody who's liberal on most of the things that they, they say. So um, Which is so weird because I uh, so I've just in the recent years since you know we're discussing some of like our our political stance on certain things yeah. um, or just in general right um, I would say the majority of my adult life I would have considered myself um, very liberal um, uh, not necessarily conservative and much of many things um, but I think that's just because that was what was um, taught. You know what I mean? I was taught to think a certain way. Um, I was, you know, about family, friends who I hung out with. I was literally guided to this is the way you have to think. And this is the way that we should believe. And so um, and I always had my own thoughts, but I was never um, brave enough to stand up and say, but I just I I don't know. I kind of disagree with that. Um, And so I kind of in the last probably 10 years found my voice to be like, mm, I don't know. And yeah. so um, I would say now that I definitely would be um, definitely, I am still registered as a Democrat. Um, but I would definitely say that I'm would be more uh, almost like a libertarian, right? I'm more, yeah, that's more where like, I sit too. Yeah, yeah. It's very small government, so, you know, all that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, so I, if I had to put a classification, that's kind of where I yeah. put myself. Um, I just do have a lot of um, conservative beliefs. Yeah. Um, but at the flip side of that, there so, are certain things that I'm very so I'm, liberal about. So. Yeah. So I'm curious. So you said you voted for Biden in 2020. Yes, ma'am. So where, when did you, when did it, when did you like change your mind? When did you switch or when did you have an epiphany? When did you start realizing, of, okay, maybe not? Um, once he took office, it, it was seeing it. It was literally yeah. seeing like the, the, like the country and what's mm-hmm. happening. Um, you know, uh, a lot of things like when I think about not even, I'm not even one of those like super political people that know a lot about policies or what's happening what i'm literally Mm -hmm. looking at i'm sitting back and i'm going okay uh i call bullshit on when we say oh well um inflation is just you know something that happens right when i'm like bullshit it's because when i think about when i think about a lot of times um i don't know if we i don't know if we ever covered him on this show and if we haven't maybe we should but um is uh samson um, and he had a oh, song man. that was out. And um, I think when I heard that song, it just made me go, wait a damn minute. Like, hold on. Like, let's think about this for a second. You know, yeah. the cost of gas during, you know, Trump's administration was way less than Biden's administration. Right. When you think and, about the two comparatively. And Obama's. Yeah. And, you know, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, is that what I say? Oh, I said the wrong name. Obama is who I was thinking. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. But there was there was a big difference. Well, it's both for sure. Both. Yes, for sure. But right, and you're, you you stick Trump in the middle, right? Like yeah. you're sitting Trump in the middle. Trump in the middle of that. So you had Biden gas high. You know when Obama gas was high, but when Trump was in the middle, things were less expensive. When Trump was in the middle, or when, when Trump was in office, like I have to say, like I look retrospectively. Like when I look back, I think about how much different my grocery prices were, my car insurance prices were, you, every price, everything, everywhere yeah. was cheaper, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and the economy seemed to be thriving a little bit more when and he another, was in office. I, another thing that Trump did that I still to this day very highly respect is he literally went over to North Korea, North yeah. Korea, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Talk to Jim, Jim, uh, Kim, Jan, John. Talk to him himself. Got yeah. him to back down, you know. And we had peace for four years. I know. No new wars. First president to never declare a new war. Yeah, it was peace. And now it's a fucking mess. Excuse my language. Well, it's, I mean, he also brokered, you know, four peace treaties in the Middle East, which had never been done before. Um, you know, he, we were energy independent for the first time. We were actually turning a really good profit on oil. Um, that's why our gas prices were so low. Um, he, you know, prison reform, thousands of thousands of, of prisoners, primarily black men, where uh, their sentences were reduced uh, up to 70 months across the board, right? Uh, he uh, he pardoned uh, Jack Johnson, who was falsely accused of rape. The dude's not even alive anymore. He pardoned him anyway, just so his family could have that closure. Uh, Angela John Angela Johnson, I think is her name. She was falsely or she was imprisoned uh, for on a life sentence for a first time drug offense. Given it was a pretty bad offense, but it was a first time offense, and she spent like 20, 21 years in prison on this thing and not only did uh trump get her out but he like granted her full like clemency and wiped her record clean and she got to go back to her family um she was a black woman by the way there was another woman as well who was chained uh, she was in prison she was pregnant they chained her to a bed and the guard watched her give birth and it was traumatizing for her and she went and talked to trump even though she was scared to because everyone said he was a racist and he made it a law now that you cannot chain an inmate to a bed and they have to have their privacy basically like he signed that into law because of her story you know for uh, the second chance at he reinstated that from obama's era to help uh inmates get back on their feet opportunity zones he was uh creating opportunities for business to come in to increase minority communities like low-income communities they need businesses businesses don't want to go there because violence is high so and crime is high so you lower the crime you create these opportunity zones and now the communities can start thriving because these big businesses are coming in and creating new jobs for these people like there's so much stuff that trump did the musical modernization act now songwriters can actually get their fair share uh and get paid for the songs that they write there's so much that he did that was good that gets wiped under the rug because of everything the media says and they twist and turn it and they lie. And I saw that for myself because I was not political. I had to do all this research on my own. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I just knew he was the, you're fired guy, you know, yeah. from TV. I don't know who the I, fuck he was. That's all I knew too. Yeah. And I see all this stuff and I, I remember all this stuff and I see this and I'm like, oh, I, okay, where's, where's the issue here? Yeah. Is he the greatest person on earth? Not really. Please stop talking sometimes, Trump. But yeah. his policies were sound as fuck, and, and life was good. See, and see, in 2016, I actually voted for Kerry Johnson. I was always trying to go for the underdog. Like, I wanted I wanted somebody yeah. that wasn't Republican, that wasn't Democrat. I wanted somebody in the middle, you know. Oh. Yeah, I also forgot something else. He also, HBCUs, historically black colleges, have had to come beg for funding every single year. No president has ever guaranteed their funding. Trump <laughs> increased it more than any president ever has and guaranteed it for 10 years. So they don't even have to worry about, like, even trying to get more money for another, like, six years now. You know what I mean? Because four years already gone by. But, uh, like, I could just keep rattling off the good things that he did. And well, that's what, that's what blows that, my mind. Is that even though I, I voted for Gary Johnson, and you know, I didn't have... I didn't know much about politics. I didn't start learning mm-hmm. about politics until Trump Ryan was in office because he made me want to yeah. learn more. Like, I, I, it was a freaking three ring circus yeah. sometimes, but you know, <laughs> at least he made well, it when, fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when, uh, yeah, well, when, when everything happened in 2020, that's when I like yeah. had my eyes opened. Like, it was just everything I was seeing was crazy. Like, so crazy. Mm-hmm. Agreed. You know, Absolutely and now I look agree. back and I'm like, and I, I feel like we've entered like an alternate universe where people are living in two different realities, completely two different well, it's realities. it's almost and- anymore. It's almost, it's almost, it's not completely, but it's almost whatever is bad is actually good and whatever is good is actually bad. And I'm not right? saying Trump is great because as a person, I'm not a big fan, but as a president, I am. Yeah. So, and see, yeah, and I don't I- even, oh, good, mm-hmm. good. I was going to say, even at that to me, like, so I could like, I can visibly like notice the differences. Right. But, um, and I know that you, you know, us ladies have had the conversation off camera, um, that 
it's still hard for me. And so come election season, am, 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 am I ready to, you know, throw on a MAGA hat and go running and, and hitting that Trump button? Oh. No, no, ma'am, I'm not. Because we were talking earlier today and I honestly, I said this earlier, I was like, ladies, I, why can my options not be a 70 year old white man? Well, like, could I is, have there somebody is, else, please? But there is, the, but there is other options on the ballot. The ballot, ballot. You don't have to vote Democrat. You don't have to vote no, Republican. But they're not going to win. It just is, it's right that that's way. That's why I don't bother. That's right. why I don't bother. Because yeah. if that's the case, I'm going to go write my own name down because you know I think I might go. <laughs> I'll drop. vote for you, Carol. <laughs> I'll oh, vote for God. you. I, I just, yeah. you know, I, uh, I'll learn it. It's fine. If I can learn the history of hip hop, I can learn how to be a president. <laughs> so, but, um, you really I, want I, that job? I've seen it. Oh, no, people. <laughs> no, no, I, I think I'm good, but, um, dude, it will age the hell out of somebody. That's for yeah, sure. I mean, Obama <laughs> went in and he was like a look, this decent looking, uh, man that was like, he looked like he was in maybe his early 40s and he came out looking like he was in his 70s. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, and see, I voted for Obama. Not the first time, though. You know, and that's the thing. Like, I I, the first time I voted, I voted for... Uh, uh, Bush? No. Heck, no, 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 I, I no, voted no. for Bush. <laughs> no, that was the one that no. I regret it for. I regret it. <laughs> no, no, no. When... When um when Obama first ran, he ran against um oh um what's his name the uh, the veteran guy uh, I know who you're talking about uh McCain yes John McCain yeah I was like, oh yeah, yeah yeah I know it. I think that was right. the first that was the first election I could vote I could vote in I think was John McCain and uh, why Obama it was the first time you're my age it was the first why? time Ob yeah you should have been Obama. Bill Clinton. Was well, no, my I mean, first I could vote. Vote. it's the first. It's no, it's the first time I voted. <laughs> I voted for oh, Bill Clinton, by the way. <laughs> Another one I, should, I regret it, but <laughs> actually, no, I take you know, that back. Bill Clinton was actually a good. Yeah. I, I I take yeah. that back. Bill, Bill Clinton was yeah. a good president. He just had rumors that people that and that's the thing. It, it that shouldn't have mattered because he it, it didn't it had nothing to do with the country. So, you know. He yeah, was agreed. a decent president, Sorry. but he was a decent president. All right, I guess we should listen to what Van's got to say. Oh yeah, huh? we're, we're just going to go on our own little rant. <laughs> okay. Myself and a whole bunch of other people that I know voted for Biden. We, vo we voted for Obama. I was at work when I worked for DOD, Department of Defense, before YouTube allowed me to leave the job a little earlier. I used to debate with people all the time that Trump was going to be a horrible president and that uh, he was going to be a president. He, he's running as a Republican, so he must hate black people. I was so damn ignorant, man. Bruh, the ignorance was just crazy. So at some point, we all got to get and we all got to do our own due diligence and come up with our own reasons. Something that we got to vote our values. Stop voting for people. Vote your values. Vote for your own and your own integrity, your own character, your family's future. That's what we need to vote for. We don't need to vote based mm -hmm. off of the celebrities that they put in front of us simply because they look like us. That's the dumb stuff that they do to try to pander to certain communities. We need to vote our, our values. We need to look at what will prolong us as a, um, as a race, as a human race. Not as black people, not as white people, not as Asians, Jamaicans, Africans, Hispanics. It don't matter. What will prolong us as a human race? Huh? What type of rules do we have set up that will make sure that our kids, our kids' kids, and our kids' kids' kids will have a place to live, a safe place to live in the future? Because the way it's going right now, people aren't even having babies anymore. They're, as a matter of fact, it seems like we are killing more babies than we're having. That's what it That's seems exactly like. That's exactly what's happening. And we're allowing more people over here and more the legal immigration is completely taking over a whole bunch of things and it's pissing people off. And this administration that's currently in office, they allowed it all to happen. It's like they just let the floodgates open and they're believing that these people will be our new voters. Unfortunately, it might even come to fruition because we saw that Trump was up the last time that he ran for president. And then when you woke up, you found yeah. out that, hey, 
I didn't know that Joe Biden was more popular than um, than Obama. Right. Because That's what exactly what I said. Votes. That's <laughs> mm-hmm. crazy. That is nuts. I didn't know that Joe Biden was more popular than Obama. So a lot of us figure that out real quick so they can do whatever they want to do. So just keep hope alive, as Jesse Jackson used to say. Jeff, any hmm. thoughts in your travels in terms of uh, the, the the community, the rapper community uh, supporting Trump? Look, I think that uh, people have realized that neither party really speaks for uh, minorities, you know, maybe for the black audience. And, and it comes down to who they think will really help them on the issues that they care about. And, and I think it's underestimated how much people care about um, the the econ- I mean, we all know people care about the economy and immigration, but I think people think the black community and the minority community is monolithic. They don't realize that people have a lot of different opinions. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty true, though. If you think about it, like people are just going to. I mean, they're go- they're either they're going to vote how they're going to vote. They're either going to still- vote. On I'm feelings, are they going to vote on? Yeah, Tom, <laughs> stop judging me, okay? We're trying to work here. Like he's even got uh, freaking Henry involved. Even when you're n- <laughs> not here, you're a distraction. He's even got Henry involved. <laughs> I know. He's like, look at him. Just look at him. They're so bitter. <laughs> How dare they? Uh, no, no, but it's, I, I, it's, you know, my fear though is that because of what happened in 2020, everything that's happened since, and all the fighting and stuff, that no matter who wins the election come November, the other side is not going to accept it as being a free and fair election because I feel like everyone has kind of lost trust in the election system, you know, uh, or in each other, in each other, in the politicians, in the government, in the, the procedures, in the policy, in everything. People are just starting to lose uh, lose faith in it. Honestly, it seems more corrupt than not, and nothing's getting fixed. No one's being helped. Like every all those eighty five million people or whatever that voted for Biden, like what did he do for you? How is your life better? Minority communities, what has he done for you? How has he made your life better? That's my question. Trump had the lowest uh, black unemployment in history lowest unemployment for everyone across the board. I mean, the economy was doing much better. The man is obviously better at business than Biden is. And you have to run the country like a business. I don't need him to be a nice person. I just need him to go out and get the best possible possible result for America. Like, we need to be strong. We need to be able to defend ourselves and protect ourselves and our people. And we should all be thriving. There's enough stuff here that we should all be thriving. And the fact that so many of us are not and there's so many elites that are. Mm-hmm. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Carol, thoughts? Um, well, I kind of was looking at this as like, what do I guess rappers have to do with anything on who they endorse, right? Like the whole segment yeah. was even talking about like, you know, um, Little Wayne, you know, yeah. liked whatever justice, whatever it was. I read it, but I, I can't recall. So mm-hmm. so these little headlines that we're catching, right, and th- that are coming out and that we're being fed, right, is that is that supposed to be so that way you that that then gets the attention like oh my isn't favorite that exactly, rappers voting this way so i yeah, to vote like, this way yeah, yeah but isn't that the same thing though like when that stuff is coming out isn't that the same yeah. thing that like well, biden tried to do you see what i mean like you're still yeah, trying yeah. to win win the black voters like you're still yeah, trying, i feel like both, still trying to do the same thing well they're both they're both trying to do that that's exactly what Trump was doing just then. It's exactly what Biden does, exactly what anybody but, else does. It's it's why Kamala ran as a senator as the first Indian woman and she ran as vice president as the first black woman, right? Like it's all about perception. And mm-hmm. the cooler the people, like because Lil Wayne has a massive following, right? Now Matt, if he's fucking with Trump, well, I mean, I love Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne cool. So I mean Trump people really cool. will think yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, like, well, he can't be bad if Lil Wayne likes him, right? It, so it's and, and I, I don't will- think that I, I think the ice cube is just saying people are going to vote how they're going to vote. It doesn't matter yeah. which celebrity you put in front of them. But like think- a conservative who loves 
Cardi B is not going to vote for Biden just because Cardi B likes Biden. You know what I mean? See, a two, liberal who likes Tom McDonald. 2020, <laughs> you know, Trump didn't do all that, though. He's doing it now because, oh, well, if Biden's going to do it. I'm going to do it. That's the way I look at well, it. <laughs> and to be fair, to be fair, they, they, they might have volunteered to be there for Trump. You know what I mean? It might not yeah. be Trump. And, it might not have been a Trump ask. And, you know, and. It is what it is. I, that might be the case for Biden too, even though I doubt it. But you know, it is what it is. Got to give you know equal equal opportunity to any employer. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, I get you. But it's. I mean, at this point, it's going to be a very cutthroat road to the election, and you're just going to see them both trying to make each other look as bad as humanly possible because that's how you win elections these days. Uh, and that's sad. Because the policies get I mean, lost in the mix. They go so far, they're trying to get each other arrested. I mean, literally. I mean, they're a hundred percent going after Trump. It is a winch hunt after Trump. A hundred percent. A winch know. hunt. Um, you know, but it's not like he was perfect either. So, but it's definitely has a he witch even hunt announced? Anyway. Has he even announced a running mate? Like, has he even? What I heard and understood was that he was going to present a list and let the people pick who his running mate ends up being that's who they want his vice president to be yeah if that actually happens that's going to be huge with a lot of people you know but like i know i'm not i and i know i'm not crazy with this because even somebody like michael rapaport who loathes trump he calls him pig pig trump right he cannot stand trump this dude is literally saying trump is now on the table because uh, you know and for him he's jewish and with everything going on with, uh, israel and hamas uh you know, he just cannot support Biden or the squad. And so now he's basically considering or is going to vote for Trump because he like like Van said, he is he is voting for his best interest for him, his family, for everyone else. You know what I mean? And that's what it's going to come down to. And I think that's why the tides are turning is because people are waking up and they're going to start voting for their own interest and not just off like their feelings. Right. Because at the end of the day, I don't care if I don't I don't care if, if Trump is necessarily a good person or a bad person as long as we are all taken care of and he's not like out there committing like for real crimes like you know like Epstein or you know Diddy yeah some exactly. shit like that you know or like murdering people or kicking puppies and shit you know uh I don't know I just know that I need something to change and I have two options shit sandwich one or shit sandwich two and right now. Sit, shit sandwich two is looking a lot better than the first one the first one is hot steamy and covered in flies this one's a freshie <laughs> love your analogy <laughs> she stole it from thomas no <laughs> i did i elaborated on it i elaborated he had three sandwiches i can only handle two okay yeah that's all i'm saying well he also oh, has 11 man. inches you can only handle it six stop <laughs> Dude, <laughs> stay away from me with fucking eleven inches of anything. Just back on up. We just back wanna. Up. We wanna. Uh, um, what's it called? Uh, half of the sub. We won't, don't want the whole sub. No, no I'm, I'm a six inches for yeah. sure. Nope, can't handle it. Absolutely cannot fucking handle how did it. We don't go even from, try. Not even gonna we, attempt. How did we go from Trump to talking about wings again? I can barely I eat up six know. inches. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good well, God. with all that being said, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you guys have any other um, good uh, videos that we should be checking out, um, you know, drop them down for us below. But we'll, we'll definitely like to check that out. Um, and always, uh, Van, if you have a, if you have check it and if you've seen it, uh, we love you. Yeah, do a yeah, great dude. job. You're the bomb, dude. Uh, we, 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 you're you're definitely a, a good guy. You. Love you. I've been following you for yeah. years, and I love your content. So, yeah. All right. Me too. Peace out. Right, peace. peace out. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get notified anytime the videos drop. Thanks. See ya.